Well, hello, ladies and gents. Welcome along again. How the very devil are you? Andy here, and I have just finished doing the Großglockner, astoundingly beautiful mountain pass in Austria on my last day of my trip here down in the Alps. Long overdue, much, much enjoyed, and uh, sadly coming to an end because I've now got a race to catch my train in Innsbruck. I'm due to arrive, according to the beeline, at 6.45. My train starts loading at 7.45 but I've got 200 kilometers across the Alps to cover. So who knows what's gonna happen? In any case, strap yourself in for the adventure, hopefully with a cup of tea, and let's get on with it. Driving down the road that I grew up on once again. It's when I pass your door, the memories come back again. Pictures of us flooding back just like a wave Makes me wonder what happened, what you're up to today Remember when we stole your mother's car, we drove for days oh, Look at that, by the time I get to the station I'm very nearly going to be at the point where I need to book the bike in for a second service already 12,000 kilometers in 10 months Not bad considering what's happened in the meantime since I bought the bike Now yeah, sadly you won't Not very soon As soon as I could possibly make But it's not going to be as soon as I could possibly like Way back when We didn't care what they said People could stare I didn't give a damn Cause I was being next to you Way back when we didn't care what they said, people. Oh, well, that lovely little stretch of fast sweepies with its slightly scary, horrible tar snake wiggliness shaved off another three minutes. Might even be earning myself enough of a time credit to have a little tea break halfway through. But I think that'll have to happen a little bit closer to the train station. Now, there's the obvious way to get to Innsbruck, which just follows the motorway along that way. But there was shed loads of roadworks. It was hot, it was sticky, it was disgusting. So I would rather take a tiny little bit longer and head this way the slightly long way around and hopefully avoid the roadworks. Also, hopefully, get some cooler air because there'd be a little bit more altitude. Altitude! this is absolutely boiling that's what i'd rather be doing right now i think i've done my riding for today i'd rather be sat in the shade with a cold one but keep in mind that i can get a cold one on the train cheers myself to a adventure well done a mission accomplished although don't get ahead of yourself andy you're not there yet anything stupid like a puncture or running out of petrol and then it's off forget about it you have to stay here for another week Oh no, oh a puncture really, you I mean I've got to stay, oh there's not another train for a month, oh shucks. Yeah, good luck on the gorse clock now lads. Bloody ripped the road up, haven't they? What did that just say about gesperrt? There's some kind of a road blockage along here somewhere. I hope that's not the road I want, otherwise that would be disastrous. Oh look at that sunbathing, swimming in the lake. I think I could happily just go and jump in there right now. Yep, yep, there it is. This road is a dead end. Yeah, that's the second or third time that this Beeline app has taken me to a closed road. It just doesn't seem to have the information in there, even though the Google Maps does. <sighs> sake. I have to go around then, I haven't got time for that. There goes my tea break, eh? So road closures on Beeline. Forget it, they're not in there. The question is, is there even another way? I'm going to have to go and just ask them if, if I can get through, because there is no other way. Entschuldigung? Komm ich hier durch eigentlich? Yeah, thank you. God for that. So it looks like bikes can come through. Yeah. <laughs> you wouldn't get through there with a car, would you? Unless they moved the digger. Oh, digger. Oh, that was about to be big time, game changing plan ruiner. Right, we only lost two minutes with my faffing. Oh, it just looks so fresh and so clean, clean. Unlike my underpants, which are absolutely sopping. You swines having your fun with your bodies out in the sun. Why, ya yada. Huh? It's literally taking me around the houses. What is going on with this routing? Can't you just go on the main f***ing roads? I 
I literally just came this way. Why did you direct me to go slightly left when it was on the right, <coughs> an idiot? I think it's worth it to come this way just to see another bunch of amazing mountains. A bit more rocky, these ones, though. Could just be because the snow's all gone. Oh, you would, wouldn't you? Going the same way as me, you swine. All right, 26 and a half Ks on this road. How did get my overtake on? Currently an hour and two minutes in the tank. Three hours yet to ride. Oh, gonna sleep well tonight, team. The air is so hot that my whole jacket is inflated, but it's just not cooling me down. It's like being in a hairdryer. Oh, that smells awesome. A little bit of pine there. That's pine nuts. Yoink. Just so awesome. So crazy that I think I've pretty much ridden past all of this stuff already in the dark. Don't recognize any of it, but it's utterly spectacular, isn't it? better. Still bloody hot, but slightly more comfortable bloody hot. Lost five minutes though. Five minutes, seven minutes. Oh dear. Seven minutes is all over. We're less than an hour buffer now. And the going is incredibly slow. Well, to be fair, the views along the way still pretty special. Oh, the breeze across my body. That's, that is, that's top notch, that is. So glad I've got the Knox jacket with me though. Although in 30 degrees like this, I can sadly report that wearing a mesh jacket underneath a laminated jacket makes for a very hot combination. It's like having a string vest on in the olden days. Yeah, but now that the Oxford Mondial jacket is strapped onto the top of the panniers, that is a lot more comfortable. What I really want is to cut into those hills, and get some fresh air and some bendy bits. Get some fresh air in me bendy bits. And I see on my little beeline Aparuni here, in 5Ks, I've got a 90 degree left turn. Let's hope that's the one. It's around every single corner and the end of every single valley, there's another unreal looking mountain that just looks astonishing. doesn't look like something that could happen in real life. That's out of a film. I'll say it again, it's just, it's painted on the backdrop there. Whoa, easy, son. Good job I didn't have the antenna up. Really hope I'm going up through there. That would make my day. Pretty sure I was supposed to go between two hills at some point. It's not a euphemism. Oh, look, here it is. This is the left turn I've been wanting. be the last twisty bit of the journey, ladies and gents. It's only 100 k's left to go till we get to Innsbruck. Oh, the air coming off of that icy water is absolutely gorgeous. Conditioning on in here. Oh, 
Oh, it just feels like I've been in the same queue of traffic in the same village for the last hour. But regardless, the time is looking okay. I've got an hour and six minutes in the tank currently. Well, as the hills and the temperature continue to keep rising, so does the pressure. I've lost five minutes or so in the traffic over the last well, it feels like 100 miles, so still not quite out of the woods yet. Although I only have 56 kilometers left to go. ETA, quarter to seven. So it's not quite panic stations just yet. And thankfully, it just continues to be stunningly beautiful. It's just a shame that the roads are a bit boring now because going back up into the mountains would mean massive detours, great big dog legs. And unfortunately, there just isn't the time for that. It was already ambitious to have gotten to the Großglockner in time to go up and down it three times and then still even get to Innsbruck. So don't want to push my luck. I'm just going to phone this last stage of the trip in. But we were higher than the ceiling, middle fingers to the sky. I remember thinking if I only could stop the time right now, way back when we did it. They said people could stare I didn't give a damn Cause I was being next to you Way back when We didn't care what they said People could stare I didn't give a damn Cause all I needed was my friend Way back when Way back when That's not at all weird. Straw stuffed Al Capone and Cousin It on a bench. Brilliant. Oh, that was a shock, but I suppose quite a pleasant one. Well, that was actually exactly what I needed. Look at that. Another road closure that Beeline doesn't have on its radar. Nailing it. Absolutely nailing it. So just as I was about to give you a relaxed and happy goodbye and ending to all of the adventure, suddenly the time frame is thrown into disarray as I have to follow a detour which seems to have just stopped. Oh well. It's recalculated and we're back on track. Kind of. Enough anyway. Just look at those hills for the last time, pretty much. We meet again, don't know how, don't know when, but I know we'll meet again some sunny day. Yeah, I don't know what key that's supposed to be in. Do you think I am a singer or something? Yeah, I'm sure I'll be back a lot quicker than it's taken me to get here this time. This has been absolutely fantastic. Thanks very much, guys. Thank you very much indeed. A round of applause for yourself. Well, 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 very well done. But at this juncture, with only 15 k's left to go to Innsbruck and moving slightly slower than the pace of frozen treacle, I will say thank you so, so very much for watching. Thank you for coming along on this little predominantly Austrian adventure with a small patch of Italy and a tiny dip into Switzerland. It's been an absolute joy of a trip. The riding's been fantastic. The weather's been incredible. All of the gear that I've been using has been awesome as well. In the very near future, once I get home and get everything unpacked, I'll put together a video talking about all the stuff I've used, what I thought of it, what I liked, what I didn't like, hints and tips, things I've learned, all that kind of stuff. So watch this space for that. So I can't really mention the gear without saying huge thanks to all the brands that provided stuff that I've been using on this trip. So big thanks to SW Motec, Knox, Boozer, Oxford, Kellerman, and Insta360, thank you so much for all of the stuff. I've given it a proper good test and I've formed some good, strong opinions about it all. Mostly good, I will say. Moving on with the thanks, huge thanks again to Moho. Check them out, moho.info, if you want to find out about the hotels that I've stayed in 
And speaking of the hotels that I've stayed in, big thanks to Land Hotel Anna in Schlanders and to Hotel Tumpinska in Stumm. So big thanks to Stefan and his team and to Mike and his team. Links to everything will, of course, as usual, all be in the description. So the penultimate thanks goes to all of you lovely people that have been supporting the channel through Patreon and the YouTube membership stuff. As I said at the beginning, your support quite simply allowed this trip to happen. Without it, I'd be sitting at home twiddling my thumbs and dreaming of curves instead of spending four days smashing around in them like a maniac. So huge, huge, huge thanks. Thank you. All of your names will, of course, be flashing across the bottom of the screen right now. And those of you whose names aren't there, but you want to put them there and you also want to get the warm, fuzzy feeling in your soft, squishy bits for supporting the channel, once again, links in the description. If it's not something you care about, then just ignore it. Keep enjoying the videos. And then the final thanks, quite obviously, goes to all of you. All of you who've been watching, coming along for the ride, liking, subscribing, sharing, commenting, interacting in any way with the videos. Thank you so, so much for making it all worthwhile. I hope you've enjoyed it at least a fraction as much as I have. So with all the mushy thanks and the gushy nonsense out of the way, all that's left for me to do is to get to the train, load the bike up, put my head down, wake up tomorrow in Hamburg, and then it'll all feel like it was just a dream once again. Don't worry, I'm not going to do the Scooby-Doo ending this time. So until next time, I've been Andy Van Cam. You've been fantastic. They've been the Austrian Alps. And I'll see you in the next one. ta -ra. Every fibre of my being wants to go up that one. But I've got to take this one. Ah, so much want. Next time. Next time. sign would have been nice. What? There's a traffic light for U-turns, but a sign saying no U-turns allowed. tell you about it being so empty. My bike is the only one going on this train all the way down. Right, on this particular car. Nuts.